the system always defaults to cold, uh, cold water, which is the blue light. To change the mode on the on the product, all you do is touch the top button. Now it's dispensing sparkling water. You touch the button again, it goes to red hot, which is hot water. But that's also in safety mode. You right. have to engage the the water to, to dispense. You hit that twice, and when it's flashing, you can dispense hot water. When, when, and if you if you wait long enough, it'll stop flashing. It goes back to safety mode. So yeah, the kids you. are around. They're not, right. they're not going to be able to uh, get to it right away. The product actually dispenses boiling, chilled, or sparkling water right out of the same tap. Really? Okay, my yeah. client actually came to me with something very similar. I wonder if it's one of y'all's products, and that's that's exactly what it was. And she was wanting to replace the chilled reverse osmosis system that we installed under their sink about a year ago. And basically they wanted something that had both hot and cold water and the RO capability. So it kind of sounds like you have that and possibly even some other stuff? We do, we do have all of that. Okay. And, uh, and again, we have filtration. Mm -hmm. so, so you get the RO replacement, if you will. And we also have the CO2 connection, which gives you the uh, sparkling water. Oh, so, that's very you know, nice. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, like when you go to uh, any fancy so, place, you know, they say, do you want still or with gas, exactly. right? And exactly. so now you that's get the with the gas. And, and we were proud of our, the fact that we don't have any sodium in our sparkling uh -huh. water. So, it's kind of a gentle sparkle as mm -hmm. opposed to this really harsh right. uh, reaction you get when you first drink it. And drinking water is becoming more of a, a business trend mm -hmm. than it had been in the past. O over the years, people got into you know, sugary drinks and right. juices and things like that. It's sort of regressing back to water. I've noticed that too. You know, we're finding out more and more that all we need is mm -hmm. water. And, uh, and you, there you are, you know, kind of I'm doing it. making the point. I'm doing it. There's water in there. Somewhere. Right. There's water in here. There's water in there. Right. You know? This what we call a font, F O N T, mm -hmm. that's actually some distance away. It's connected to the P trap on right. the sink. So you can, you can entertain on one side and clean on the other. That's cool. I've never even really thought about that. That's neat. Yeah. So just to show you what, uh, what hot water looks like coming mm -hmm. out of the system, you can see the. Uh, You can see the steams. And that was kind of challenging a little bit for you, but but basically the idea for that is we don't want to scald any children. So we exactly. want to make sure that it's exactly. very safe, it's right? Completely safe, yes, right. Exactly. So you can see the steam coming off of this water. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's boiling hot. That is very hot. That's, that's boiling hot. I think if you really right. want to feel the heat of this, you put your hands on the So fire. is there a heater of some sort that's incorporated? Yeah. What does it look like? It actually has a refrigeration system. Okay, gotcha. Well, a heating system inside. Wow. They both have storage tanks mm -hmm. where you know, they completely continue a refill right and then there's your there's your basically your co2 i'm guessing CO2 over there? in the back yeah okay about three and a half inches in diameter and about right. a foot tall okay so in the chilled units that i've installed in the past essentially it was the exact same size minus the co2 tank so right. you're incorporating more stuff right within something that's really the same amount of space to what i've seen with just the chilled units so i mean that's outstanding why wouldn't you want the exactly. best of all that you know at the same time a lot of people have bottled water in their mm -hmm. refrigerator if you think a 24 case of water probably takes up the same amount right. of cubic footage, right. now you're freeing up that space in your refrigerator and putting it underneath your sink where it really does you, uh, does, has a lot more benefit. Right. With the reverse osmosis, about how much water is being wasted during the filtering process with y'all scenario? Actually, we, we waste zero because in, really? fact, in fact, yes, in fact, when, when you shut the water off, whatever water is in the line goes back into the system and waits there. So the reason for that is it come, well, next time you dispense water, it comes out at the proper temperature. You don't have the water in the line. That, that's, you have to wait to purge. Okay, and so so as the as the water is passing through the reverse osmosis filtration system, you're you know like what I'm used to seeing is that you get maybe like only thirty percent of the water is actually used for drinking, and then the other seventy percent goes down the drain. Right. No, so you're saying yours does not do that. Case, in our case, it only takes wow. waste out of it. Yeah. So. And you can run 1,575 gallons of that. Filter. So no, so literally zero water is being wasted and going down the drain with your process. That's is that correct. what you're saying? That's correct. Wow, that's incredible. I've really never heard about that. Is that is that is that common for this market, or is that something this unique is, to y'all? This is brand new to the U.S. This, this wow, really, really oh, that's that's late, mind blowing. Late so with regards to pH, with regards to yeah, yeah, mineral yeah. additives, do you have any recommendation? Because I know that when you Utilize a reverse osmosis system. The uh, the pH can decrease and becomes right. a little bit more right. acidic, and you might want to make it more alkaline. So, how do y'all address that? So that's a good, very good question. I think river, our O systems actually take too much out of the water. Mm -hmm. Our system actually makes it safe to drink and and flavorless and odorless. Mm -hmm. We kind of stop without taking too many minerals out of mm -hmm. it. So we are at a 0.2 micron filter, mm -hmm. uh, carbon based. So we take out all the odors, mm -hmm. out the flavor.
the chlorine and the lead and any solid particles in there. It's perfectly safe to drink. It's, it's tastes really pure, mm -hmm. but it still has a nutrition value. Sounds like y'all may not remove fluoride in y'all's scenario. Is yeah, that the case? It, 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 fluoride is actually in liquid form. Mm -hmm. If it's completely dissolved, uh, we won't remove it out of the water. Mm -hmm. If it is any, if it's got any, if it attaches any solid, solid. particles okay. in the water, got then you. it gets removed got by, you. just by virtue of being attached to that. So, got you. So generally speaking, there's still plenty of fluoride mm -hmm. available. Well. well, tell us your product name again. It's called Zip Hydro. It's Hydro Tap by Zip. Okay. Um, obviously, we call it Hydro Tap because you hydrate yourself when you right. drink from it. And, right. Uh, and uh, it's been around a long time. Highly proven technology uh -huh. uh, in Australia, New Zealand, the UK, and other places around the world. It's just new to the US, and uh, frankly, the reaction we got from this show is extremely encouraging. As wow. Well. This product's going to be a staple for a long time. I'm, I'm definitely going to dive into this more when I get back home, and I mean, I, I can see myself installing these on pretty much every project that I would be building out a kitchen in or anything like that because. That's outstanding. I mean, health is such a significant part of our lives and of our homes and, sure. you know, water, as you mentioned, like it's just extremely important. And so this provides you like multiple conveniences, sure. um, a lot of really great stuff to drink is, is very, um, efficient and is not you know creating a lot of waste of water which water Absolutely. is a very precious resource clean water to sure. us at this point sure. in, in our lives with the the state of the world and uh man i've just never seen or heard anything like that and you know that's one of the techie things that people might not think about all the time but the conversation eventually comes up in pretty much every house i build Absolutely. and reverse osmosis has been the typical direction that i've gotten into and then chilling the reverse osmosis was another step for me where i kind of had to figure it all out and it was sure. kind of you know technical and uh, we got a beat on it, but this is just leaps and bounds beyond anything I have ever seen or worked with or even really intaked into my brain. So I love it, man. That's a fantastic product. Thank you so much for the tour. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate you stopping yeah. in. Yeah, my pleasure. Adios, amigos.